APK or AAB. The two main output formats when exporting the final version of your Flutter application for Android only. In this video, we're gonna go through what is the differences between both formats, when to use them, and how to generate them in your Flutter project. Firstly, what is APK? APK stands for Android Package Kit. It's a file format used by Android that contains a compiled version of an app. It is used to distribute and install apps across its ecosystem. They also include a manifest file providing app information to the Android system, critical media resources such as icons and sounds, and a set of certificates and signing keys that verify the publisher identity. An APK file is like a zip file that contains all the necessary files, resources, and code required to run an Android app on a device. Now, to generate APK in Flutter, you can use flutter build apk dash dash release command. On the other hand, what is AAB? AAB stands for Android App Bundle. It is a publishing format introduced by Google in 2018, which allows developers to publish more efficient apps on the Google Play Store. AABs are a type of bundle that includes all the compiled code, resources, and assets needed to build an APK, but it is a more efficient way of packaging than APKs. AABs only include the code and resources needed for a specific device configuration such as screen size, language, or texture compression format. To generate AAB in your Flutter, use flutter build app bundle dash dash release command. The main difference is APK is installable directly while AAB is not. When a user downloads an app from the Play Store, the store generates a custom APK from the AAB file that includes only the resources needed for the user's device. This means that user only download the parts of the app that they need, which can result in smaller app sizes and faster download times. As of August 2021 onwards, Google Play Store no longer accepts APK format for new apps upload. Instead, AAB format is recommended. In conclusion, use APK for testing on real devices internal app sharing, or distributing outside of Google Play, while use AAB format for publishing to Google Play Store. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.